Hey, it's Andrew Freund here in New York City. I am with Jake and Anne. Welcome. Hey. Thank you. All right, you guys made me cry last night. We didn't mean to. Well, we sort of did mean yeah, to. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I don't cry at movies, and I was crying last night. I will fully admit that in the theater. Does it make me a jerk if I say I'm glad to hear that? Yeah. No. I mean, I, I like it. We were crying, too. That was, <laughs> we cried with you, maybe. Yeah. Um, so what's that like for you guys? I mean, this movie, it's so emotional as a viewer. But being in it, tell me, what what do you hope audiences feel when they see the film? I, I really hope that an audience or audience members would leave thinking... I really want that in my life mm. and I either have that in my life or I don't have it or I want it and um, I hope it can shed light for those who don't have it or that it's possible and I think you know that's what I would love for people to leave with. I hope people feel grateful for for what they have because I know playing Maggie playing a character who was so sick and so brave and um, is dealing with a disease that doesn't have a cure I don't know playing her made me feel really grateful for my health and everything that I have and and how much better I have it than I ever give my life credit for mm -hmm. and so I, I kind of hope people have the same reaction to that too so much of the movie like the theme is being in the moment you know they you say it over and over in the moment in the moment for you guys personally, what did, did it make you more cognizant of living your own lives in the moment? How did tell me a little bit about that? Did it yeah. make me? I think so. Definitely. I mean, <laughs> there were these there were these wonderful moments where um, you know Ed Zwick, the director, would always sort of keep personally. He would keep me going really fast so that my brain wasn't in it. It was just more. I was just reacting, responding with instinct, and that was his way of like, just do it again, do it again, do it again, because I can overthink, you know, and I think that's a common tendency for a lot of people, you know, is to just overthink something and not be present, mm -hmm. and he always constantly kept me present, and that was, in my acting, that was a huge lesson, and then I think there were times when both of us needed help from the other, and we were there for each other to stay present and to know, to stop thinking about the result of, is this movie even going to be any good, is the scene going to be any good, what matters right now is the connection between the two of us, and what's so gratifying is that it seems like people are saying that our connection in the movie is is so strong and that's out of us actually I think being super present with each other and so yeah I think the movie was constantly we were constantly reminded and I think we were in the moment with each other a lot yeah and I think the moments that we struggled were when we were outside of the moment Definitely. and and the thing that was extraordinary about Ed is that he's just a great guy and also as a director has enough experience to know not to panic when that happens but totally. would hang in there with us and had faith that we would get it back totally, and that totally. I mean he, Ed's <clears throat> faith in us as actors I think did a lot to really bolster our performances and, and give us confidence that we could do some really difficult things yeah uh, you know and also in the film I know that the there's real life Parkinson's patients in the film what did you guys learn from them um, well, Lucy actually was one of my consultants uh, on my character, so I learned a lot from her. Um, to the way Lucy's one of the, the, uh, the Lucy is one of the uh, is kind of the main Parkinson's patient in that scene, and a, and a wonderful actress in her own right. And she um, she gave me a lot of uh, we talked a lot about self medicating, um, which is kind of more about the insight to my character. But uh, people got up and j they shared their stories in a way that I mean. I don't uh, have anything in my life that's as high stakes as Parkinson's disease, and I don't know that I'd be so courageous as, as to share uh, all that they shared. Um, so I think I, I was just in absolute admiration of, of their courage and openness. Hmm. Does it, uh, uh, you, no, no, no. Please. Oh, I was going to say, you know, because I feel this movie was so intense, and like, yes, everyone's talking about they're naked, they're naked, they're naked. But was it freeing in a way to be so free in a role, you know, emotionally, physically? Like literally, you know, what was that like as an actor? He's super smart. You're really smart. You're really I'm smart, loving man. this interview. I know, Thank me too. you. I'm totally. I'm like, you're awesome. It um, was it was liberating to feel that you didn't have to compromise, to to not feel obligated to compromise. Yeah, Definitely. there was no standard or there was just like no fear. There was no fear anywhere. Like it just didn't exist. It didn't work if there was fear. And there and when there was, sometimes I think it pushed us to other places. But I think majority of the time, Ed just it. Even if you were afraid, he was like, "That's fine. It's it's fine. Wherever you are is fine." Yeah. And that was again, it was like, and we believed in what we were doing <clears throat> as well, which went a long way to making us feel comfortable with what we were doing. Mm -hmm. Does it make you feel uncomfortable now that you actually have to wear clothes? 
<laughs> it makes me feel uncomfortable talking about the nudity. Yeah, it's like and being asked about it. Like as that, a caveman, it was probably a wonderful thing because there was never any chafing or anything like that. Clothes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That made me think. Do you, of that. Do you want me to make you some fur fur lined jeans? <laughs> fur lined cake? jeans and a or maybe some a, fur lined boxers and a diaper and a diaper. Yeah, sure. Why not? Well, the, well, <laughs> while we're at it, why not? <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I was thinking about is that the whole nakedness is going to overshadow just how awesome the movie is, which I don't want. I'm personally not going to be pushing for it, but I see how it was necessary in the role because you know you do get that feeling because you're so vulnerable, like crazy. Bon like I thought you guys were real I, I suspended my disbelief and I was like they are a couple you know and I know you're not a couple in real life but I was like they are a couple um, so for me as the viewer I was like this is that's why I was crying and I don't cry at movies ever <laughs> that sounds, well, I think people are expect with um, you know the way a movie is sold or what they expect from a romantic comedy or whatever it is that you know that there be people who are like no like they're not real actors doing it or something, and that where they're not committed deeply to the roles that they're playing. And in, and in romantic comedies, a lot of performances are personality based. Mm, that's true. As that's opposed true. to character based, and yeah. in this one, I mean, you know, we're both very different from our characters, yeah. and and there's a lot of work that went into creating them and creating their relationship. Yeah. And we rehearsed with Ed in a room, just the two of us, many hours a day for two weeks, just kind of talking through it from every viewpoint. And going back to what you said about the nudity, it's very funny. I've, we've, we've each had this experience where people who haven't seen the film seem to want to talk about the nudity, and people mm. who have want to talk about the characters and the chemistry. Yeah. So, um, so I think that the nudity is, you know, for lack of a better word, the titillating aspect of it. But it's really, it's just part of uh, the larger film. And I'm very proud that we were able to take something that could could have been so potentially, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say, galvanizing, yeah. and, and actually make it just be a part of a bigger story. It's like when you see the trailer for this movie, I've seen people have said like, oh, I really love the trailer for the movie. And I'm like, the movie is so much better than the trailer. And it's so hard to, it's so, you very rarely say that. You know what I mean? It's There's like, usually so get the best more. stuff. It's like, yeah. you have no idea. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, I, that, and, sure. and that's like, it, and, and you, people say that, but it's like, it's actually true. It's like, the trailer can't, couldn't be as good as the movie. Yeah. And, and, and the funniest moments in the film actually aren't in the trailer. Yeah, it's true. It's totally That's true. true. Maybe last, in, last thing, I gotta give you guys a hug because I absolutely <laughs> love the movie. And it you was amazing. Wonderful. It was amazing. Thank you. Yeah, Thank so you for, for being so open and lovely in your interview. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.